This is a 2002 BMW 325. The 25 variant is very rare in the Philippines. It's fast as hell, pero medyo bobo din siya. This is a 2014 Porsche Cayenne. Also very rare in the Philippines, also quite fast, but only marginally smarter. This is a Mazda 2022 CX-8. Readily available in the Philippines. Hindi siya kasing bilis ng mga German models, pero sobrang talino niya compared to them. When we think cars, we think horsepower, torque, maybe kilometers per liter. But maybe when we start talking about tech in cars, pag-isipan natin yung nagpapagaan at mas madali yung driving experience natin. Tech that actually makes it easier for the driver to drive. Daanan natin tong tatlong sasakyan na to and we'll see the evolution of tech in cars. Pipili ka ng PC, most likely kailangan ng Windows. Pero saan ko kukuha ng legit Windows? Daming options, daming prices. Ah, halito! Buti na lang, may cdkeyoffers.com Madali lang ang order! Search for the software you need, add to cart, daan ka sa payment options nila. Wala pang 5 minutes, finished! May legit working CDK ka na para sa Windows mo. Gamitin ng aming code para makakuha pa ng discounts. Kaya kung naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software, check out cdkeyoffers.com For a long time, cars were like this BMW. The basic equipment was there. Incremental improvements sa nandun sa basic features. So, yung power steering, naging power steering. Yung nagkaroon ng power windows. Power locks, power side mirrors. We don't even think about these things as special anymore. Back in the day, naalala mo yung power steering. Grabbing improvement ngayon. This car did have a feature which was relatively new, and that was the rear assist. So you get an auditory cue just how close you are to the guy behind you. Nakatulong naman siya, pero you still needed to do a lot of reckoning by yourself. Tancha tancha parin. Things are a little bit better in the Porsche, so it has Bluetooth connectivity, it connects to your phone and syncs your contacts. Tapos may speakerphone din siya built into the car, so maka telebabad ka hands-free with your contacts. The parking sensor has also been refined. You get more cues, visual, hindi lang auditory, kasi may camera siya, lalabas siya dito sa screen. So that you can more easily gauge just how close your butt is to the guy behind you. There are also sensors in the side of the car so that if you're too close to the person you're trying to merge to, magwa warning siya dito sa side mirror. So may improvements naman siya, pero overall incremental lang yung upgrades. It's a bit smarter than the BM we were driving a while ago. Hindi siya stunning na sobrang gagaan yung drive mo dahil sa features ng kotse na to. Now, the Mazda CX-8 has all of the things of the previous cars and more. One thing it has na wala sa unang dalawang sasakyan is a HUD or heads-up display which shows basic information like current speed and the merge proximity warning sensors. Sa Porsche, kailangan mo muna tumingin sa side mirror bago mo malaman kung dapat ka ba mag-merge or hindi. Sa CX-8, kita mo na sa HUD yung information na to so you can keep your eyes straight on the road. Like the other cars, the CX-8 has parking sensors, but again, the implementation is a quantum leap forward. Yung dating, para nag-launch ka ng drone into the air, and it's looking down on you. As you're parking, you get a 360-degree view of your surroundings. I mean, obviously, there's no drone, but that's the point of view you get, and it feels a bit like magic, to be honest. This is the most useful iteration of parking assist I've seen, since you can assess your movements based on what's in front, behind, and to the side of your car. Dahil sa enhanced sensors ng CX-8, I can squeeze into spots I never could have by just using dead reckoning. While the CX-8 is smart on its own, it also leverages the power of something we all have, your phone, to be even smarter. Mobile integration has invaded the automobile space and integration here is seamless. Download Android Auto, Connect the phone to your car, and then it loads important things like Waze and Spotify automatically. From a safety standpoint, this is Asus, as you can refer to the car screen for Waze now instead of having to glance down at your smaller phone screen or fiddle with your phone when you want to change a song. Pero yung nakakainis lang sa current implementation, the touchscreen function of the car display is turned off when you connect the phone. So if you're in Waze, you can't manipulate the map by touching the car display. Walang pinch, zoom in, zoom out. None of the UI that we're used to. I like seeing what's ahead of me, especially dito sa atin na nawawala na lang bigla yung daan or pinapapasok ka ni Waze sa isang eskinita. You want to zoom in to check na tama talaga daan mo. 
this would be a lot easier to do if you could manipulate the map via the touch screen. Dumb UI decisions aside though, the key word here is integration. Dati parang add-on lang yung mobile mo to the driving experience. Gamit mo si Waze, your phone might be in an ugly phone holder. If not, nasa corner lang nung front dash. Maring madulas pa phone mo and you need to reach down to get it all while driving. Not to mention, your phone is using up a lot of battery using data, GPS, and its screen is on the whole time you're driving. Ngayon, it's really a merging of your car with your phone. The phone is running off the car's power, so no need to worry about it running out of bat. And the information that the phone is giving you is now better suited to the car environment. Because of the CX-8 sensors, plus the integration of internet connectivity and apps via your mobile, it truly makes the driving experience easier. Yun yung ibig ko sabihin by smart car. So I hope going through these three cars has demonstrated paano nag-e-evolve yung mga sasakyan to become smarter. And the cars themselves are not smarter of course, but how they make the driver smarter. How they have features that allow the driver to make smarter decisions. So dati, preno, speed, makina lang inisip mo. Ngayon may mga parking assist, may LCD screens, may rear bumper sensor, merge sensor. As they get better, as they become more incorporated into the design of the car, mas nakakatulong talaga sa nagmamaneho. So more and more, magkaka-integration na between the things we commonly associate with our cell phones and with cars. Pero syempre, bago ka bumili ng sasakyan, upgrade mo muna computer mo. Thanks for watching. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted, yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up to date yung inventory dun. Kung in stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.